That was Paul McCartney performing Cut Me Some Slack, the, uh, how did Dave Grohl describe it again? And it's heavy as Right. That was the heaviest song he debuted with ex Nirvana members Grohl, Chris Novoselic, and Pat Smear at the 12 12 12 Hurricane Sandy Benefit concert. Sir Paul took the SNL stage for the fourth career time where he also performed My Valentine off of Kisses on the Bottom featuring Eagles guitarist Joe Walsh. He capped off the night with Wonderful Christmas Time, which he performed with a choir for the children. But back to cut me some slack, when rumors first started popping up that Nirvana would reunite fronted by the former Beatle, we were excited, but we were also very skeptical, to say the very least. The SNL was the second time we got to hear the song, and we were wrong. It's really starting to grow on us. It's heavy, it's loud, and it sounds a lot like Helter Skelter. Grohl clued us in as to how McCarty and the gang all got together. When I first called Paul to see if he would come jam with us, None of us wanted to do a Beatles song or a Nirvana song. We wanted to do a new song. So we wrote and recorded a new song in a day. The song was recorded for Grohl's documentary, Sound City, which looks back at the legendary Los Angeles recording studio. And if, like us, you were wondering what was up with Paul McCartney's unheavy as looking guitar, well, it's a Matty Barato wine box guitar. So it's still pretty cool. Used to have wine in there. Now that you've heard this song a second time, what do you think about this collaboration? Is this the last time we're going to see Paul, Dave, Chris, and Pat together? Let us know in the comments below. Now, I hope they get back together and record an album and just call it Nirvana. If for no other reason than just pissing off Courtney Love. <laughs>